Welcome back! Avengers Endgame includes a lot of memorable and long-awaited moments. But one of the most exciting ones was the moment in the epic final battle, when Captain America managed to lift Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, Son of a bitch did it. and use it with all his strength against Thanos. But when and for what reason did Captain America become worthy? As we saw it in the first movie Thor, Odin bewitched the hammer. Therefore, only the worthy can use it. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Avengers Endgame confirms that Steve Rogers is also worthy. This shouldn't be a big surprise. The whole life of Captain America was a demonstration of selfless heroism, even before he became a super soldier. It is enough to remember how skinny Steve did not hesitate to cover the grenade with his body. He even wanted to give his life to protect New York from the Hydra bombs. In the history of Marvel Comics, there were several moments when Captain America was able to lift the powerful Mjolnir hammer. The first and most famous case was in the Mighty Thor 390, published in 1988. Later, Captain America repeated it in other comics, such as 2099 Manifest Destiny, 1998, the issue What If, featuring X-Men, Age of Apocalypse, 2007, the crossover Fear Itself, number 7, 2011, as well as in the events of the Secret Empire series, 2017. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, besides Thor and Vision, Cap is now the only hero who was fighting with this hammer. So why did Captain America take possession of Mjolnir only now? What makes him worthy in Avengers Endgame and not before? Previously, there was a theory that Captain America wasn't worthy, as he was keeping the secret that Bucky had killed Tony's parents. Confessing to this in the Civil War, he became